Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about what kind of windshields, shock mounts and wind protection I use for my microphones. I'm not going to include the lavalier microphones in this video, it's only mainly for my the microphones I use with my boom poles. I'm going to start with interior microphones, what type of interior shock mounts I use. Over the years I've, I've used several companies, one of my favorites right now is Cinella. It's a French company. I think they make one of the nicest shock mounts there are. They are super well made. Uh, this one is for a CMC microphone. This is one of their new uh, Cinella mounts for the Sheps CMC mic for this little bad boy. So this tiny little microphone goes in here. The nice thing about Cinella mounts the cable is made into the into the mount itself and then you just have to use the little strap and secure the mic just like that it looks kind of crazy guys but this is pretty nice this is what I've been using inside my for my interior microphone so far what I've been using for a wind cover is my Ryko baseball I just screw it like this and this is what I've been using I haven't had any problems so far, but the Ryko baseball is not a pretty option. It doesn't look pretty. It's not as it's, it looks kind of weird. I have yet to try the Sinala uh, wind covers, but yeah, this is what I've been using for my interior microphone. This model is called SM SWUL. So this is one of my interior setups. What I would use is something like this. Another shock mount I use for interior microphones is the Invision Seven. I think it's called. This is from Ryko. You can add. You can use this for several type of microphones. It opens like this, and then. And it goes back inside this one is not bad this one does not come with a cable you have to buy that separately uh, but also the price is not as expensive as the Zinella so this is one I've been using for my ambient poles we're currently using this one with uh, MKH50 Ryko Invision I will use the same Ryko baseball wind cover at the front that's basically it for shock mounts and wind covers all right now let me show you guys my my mkh 8040 little Ryko blimp so this one is real tiny this is a basket system so when it comes to wind protection there's different levels you could either use a regular foam to protect your microphone and that'll be okay for most indoor situations and not too windy situations outside once you go outside in the elevator a basket system is what would you want to be able to get the vibrations of the wind out of your microphone let's understand why do we use wind protection right now you guys are currently listening to my voice through the Rode video mic pro and the Rode video mic pro has a foam cover on it right now and if I blow wind in it it sounds like this now I got rid of the wind cover, the wind protection from my microphone. And if I do the same example, it's not good, right? So when it comes to wind protection, I think that's one of the most areas people sometimes overlooked. And that's where I think you should invest your money in a good basket enclosed system that will encapsulate your microphone so wind cannot get to it and you get the cleanest sound possible. I use this one rarely and it opens like this. You unscrew at the bottom here. And in this windshield, I'm currently using an MKH 8040. I've been meaning to buy the MKH 8050 and use this for when I'm doing like one band man situation uh, for like close interviews so I can really get in there and I have a really tiny uh, portable mic basket situation. But I've been using this one mainly for sound effects recordings. Not really actively, but that's what I got it. But yeah, you could see it comes with the wire suspension on it, convex, convex or whatever they call it. And then the basket goes back in, and then we tie the screw again, and then we add the other capsule at the end. The cool thing about basket systems like this one is that you could also add a furry to them. It starts to get really windy. You grab your wind jammer, you have a nice little wind protection for your microphone. So you could really get out there and capture great sound in the windy situation. The one that I've been using for the past two years and a half since it came out is the Ryko Super NTG3 or something. This basket was made for the Rode NTG series, but I've been using it with a Sankin CS3E. Uh, I like this one because the wind protection, the wind baskets come off really easily. I really like this mic 
by far one of my favorites I've been using. This one already comes with a cable. So for this basket, like the previous one, you can also add extra wind protection. What you would do is just, just grab your wind jammer, put it inside your blimp like so, and there you go. It will cover everything, and now you have a nice looking sapling ready to capture sound. This is also called dead cat. A quick pro tip I could give you, always brush your wind jammer so it's nice and looking fresh all the time. And this is so your sound is always sounding crisp and it never gets shadow or muffled by your wind jammer. So always brush your wind jammer guys. One of my first wind protections I ever bought it was an old version of that one but this one is uh, the super shield. This one comes with the fur already made into the cuffs. Same idea, opens like that. You have your cable in there. The only difference is this one already has the fur, um, so you cannot put anything on top of it. Most recently, I acquired a Ryko Cyclone, this little guy. This is the newest windshield I've bought. This one is also ba made by Ryko. The cool thing about the Cyclone is that it becomes an inside shock mount in a pinch. Has now some nice little clips here at the bottom, one side. This, the way this one works, uh, it works with magnets. So the other ones work with uh, like a cup, like a locking system. This one has magnets to just guide it in place. You get rid of the, the basket really. And then you, get up, you end up with this. And then another thing you could do is you just get rid of this little bridge. And then you end up with a nice little shock mount that you could use indoors. And I really wanted to try this Sheps, how it sounded inside and outside. So this is the one I'm going to be using for now on, the Cyclone. It's pretty sexy guys, I, I gotta say, I, I, I really like it. It's a little bit heavy, I'm not gonna lie. So you need to get those shoulders like really pumping. Once all the magnets lock into itself, you can use these lock mechanisms at the bottom and it will be nicely and secure. Also a Ryko, but this is a black wind jammer. Uh, I got this one because it looks pretty badass, I think. In this one, we also have a Ryko Super Shield for the Rode NTG3. But in this one, I have a Sennheiser MKH416. This has been my backup shotgun microphone for quite some time. Those are all the baskets. Let me know what you guys use for wind uh, covers, for wind protection and wind baskets. I've been meaning to try Cinella, the new Cozy and the actual Pianissimos. I've been trying to get some of those to use, but they're extremely expensive. And I'm already invested in Ryko, so I don't want to just go spend more money to get a different system. I'm pretty happy with what I have. But if some of you know somebody at Cinella, hook me up. It would be really great to try them and see what's up. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Those are the shock mounts and the windshields I've been currently using for 2020. I might do a yearly update in the years to come. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.